registered apprenticeship has been a successful training model in Europe and in the United States for centuries. The great thing about registered apprenticeship is that you earn while you learn and you get both the classroom education that you need, but at the same time, you're getting that invaluable experience of actually doing the job at the employer. And the Pipeline Project really takes that experience, takes that expertise that we've gained in helping employers develop registered apprenticeship programs and expands it instead of training and then placing people, we're actually getting people jobs, getting people experience in their careers right away. We're focusing on four industries in the Pipeline Project advanced manufacturing, agriculture, IT, and healthcare services. And the reason those four were identified is because they're high growth, high demand industries in Minnesota. Employers are really leading the way in terms of these are the occupations we need, and this is how we're gonna provide the training. And the Department of Labor and Industry is providing them all the support so that they can define what the competencies are. Then we help them align the competencies with their related instruction provider. And we partner with our MinSQ partners and we partner with the University of Minnesota and other higher education providers to make sure that the training matches the competencies identified by the employers. Technology is beautiful and offers us a lot of different opportunities as well here to manufacture products, but therefore as well there's a challenge then on for the workforce to, to be able to handle this kind of new technology, so it becomes more complex. Pipeline uh, offers here a support structure which we had not before. Now we have here the chance to have a direct impact on the education of our future employees by using in-house apprenticeship training, which we believe it is the way to go for us to be successful today as well in the, as in the future. We have industry council meetings as one of our most important tools for the Pipeline Project. The voices we hear at those meetings are employers, industry associations, education, labor, and the public all come together and they say this is what the Pipeline Project should be doing for now and in the future. Boy, in the healthcare industry, particularly at Fairview, we have many openings. We have 1,300 openings today. Um, we take um, approximately 250 temps a week and 7,000 students a year. But just the sheer volume of positions we need and the cost of education. There's people that need assistance, so we're always looking at ways to provide opportunities for individuals and there's different programs for different people. The Pipeline is a great program for individuals that are working right now that want to advance but still need to work. Not everyone can stop working and go back to school. So the Pipeline allowed us to really focus on competencies and key areas because we need to look at how we can help employees go to school, work at the same time during that journey and be successful at it. Currently, more than 350 employers are participating in the Minnesota Pipeline Project. And more and more employers are saying, this is something that we can do. We can have an apprenticeship-like program at our company. And it changes the culture. It changes the conversation about um, recruiting, particularly, and hiring. And it helps employers say, I don't have to have somebody walk through my door today knowing everything I need them to know there is a way for me to help train my workers so that they have the skills I need them to have going forward. Minnesota has always been a leader. One of our best features is our skilled workforce and really expanding dual training and registered apprenticeship will continue to keep Minnesota at the forefront of one of the best skilled workforces in the nation.